Okay, just happened to notice this piece of news in the Daily Mail from Saturday, October the 2nd. Uh, I only noticed it because I happened to notice David Beckham's face. And this woman he was apparently sleeping with. Well, that's not the story I'm talking about. It's this one over here. Ministers yesterday announced that the vast bulk of Labour's Controversial Equality Act would be implemented immediately, despite concerns about its impact on business and office life. The legislation, championed by, Lieb, by Labour's Deputy Leader Harriet Harman, introduces a bewildering range of rights which allows staff to sue for almost any perceived offence they receive in the workplace. It creates the controversial legal concept of third-party harassment, under which workers will be able to sue over jokes and banter they find offensive, even if the comments are aimed at someone else and they weren't there at the time the comments were made. So even if someone stands there and tells a joke about a black person and you're white, you could sue that person for telling a racist joke, even though you aren't the one that should be fucking offended by it. And even if you're not even in the room, what you happen to hear that someone's just told this joke about black people, you can sue the person who told the joke. Are we clear so far? Well, I shall continue. They can sue if they feel the comments violate their dignity or create an intimidating, hostile, hostile, sorry, degrading, humiliating, or offensive environment. Uh, anyone quite worked out who this is aimed at yet? A one-off incident is enough to sue. There is no need for the victim to have warned the perpetrator that their comments were unwanted. Unwelcome, whatever. They could even have a case against their employer if a customer or contractor says something they find offensive. One critic suggested employers could have to outlaw office banter to prevent offending anyone, and business leaders warned that the equality laws could derail Britain's economic, economic recovery with fears that employers will face a tidal wave of trivial discrimination claims. Tory MP Philip Davis said the decision to press ahead with the Labour's Equality Act showed the politically correct consensus is still alive and well in government. Mr Davis said this is Harriet Harman's politically correct legacy, full of stuff that is completely balmy to, mo to most people. Yeah, so uh, basically, um, Obviously, that was in, that's implement, been implemented by a woman, and it's basically been implemented for women, basically. Uh, because women are the problem in most offices and uh, workplaces nowadays, and I don't care whether you find that, whether women find that offensive at all. I don't care if men find that offensive either. Although it's aimed at women, I don't know why men would find that offensive. And that's exactly what that's about. You could tell a joke like, uh, what do you call a black man falling off a cliff, a chocolate drop. Yeah. And that's offensive to black people. Uh, it's only a joke, but it can be considered offensive to black people. But if you said that in a room while a black person was stood there, that black guy or black woman probably, well, we'll say black guy. Uh, that black guy probably wouldn't be bothered. He'd take us a laugh, he'd have a joke with you. But it'd be some uptight white cunt who would go, Oh, well that, that really isn't appropriate. Really is it? And then he'd go off and tell the boss. And that sort of thing happens nowadays anyway. And it's mostly women that do the uh, tattled, tattling, you know. Because it's always, it's always normally a woman that gets offended by a joke. The joke might not even be aimed at women, it could be a fucking joke about blonde people, 
and she could be a fucking brunette. You know, so she's got no reason to be offended by it or think it's offensive at all. But she'll still go off and tell the boss and try and get you fired over it. I mean, if you're in an office where you're working with a small group of people, say there's uh, 20 of you, after a while you get to know uh, who gets offended by what, how far you can go with certain jokes and stuff, and you know, and you get to be friendly with each other. And you know, whether you can stand there and tell completely racist jokes or not, even if there's a black person or a packy or whoever stood there, you know if you can tell a joke or not, and whether they're going to get offended. Or you, what you don't need is some sort of stupid legislation like this, brought in by a woman, which allows people then to think to whether they, whether it's offending them or not, if they think it could be offensive, they can now sue you for it. Uh, now, political, uh, political correctness as it is, is getting beyond a joke. I mean, they can't even sing Bar Bar Black Sheep in schools anymore in case it's offensive. Uh, you can't, uh, if you're a Christian, even in a Christian school, like a, like a Roman Catholic school or anything, uh, if you're a Christian, you can't wear a cross that's got Jesus on it. You can wear a normal cross, but you can't wear a cross with Jesus on it in case it offends people of other religions. Not that it probably would offend people of other religions, it's just the fucking government saying, oh, well, it could offend other religions. Like, we need another reason to be pissed off at all the other religions. I mean, it doesn't bother me because I'm an atheist. Because uh, I think all religion is stupid. Because all it does is call arguments. And that proves my point. Uh, but like, a Jewish person can still sit with one of them little round hats on in the middle of class and uh, a Muslim can still wear a burqa or whatever it is in class but a Christian can't wear a cross with Jesus on it which is a symbol of their religion so really they have every right to wear that as much as a Jewish person can wear their little hat but no oh, it doesn't matter if the Jewish person's little hat is offensive to Christians no as long as you're not offending, as long as the Christians aren't offending the other religions, that's fine. That's basically the idea they come up with there. And the whole not being able to sing bar bar black sheep because it might be offensive to black people is just bollocks. Um, I mean, you can't even call a blackboard a fuck's sake! can't even call a blackboard a blackboard anymore in case it offends black people. You can't call a whiteboard a whiteboard in case it offends black people. And uh, where's it going to end? I mean, is a black hole not going to be called a black hole anymore? Are the all black rugby team not going to be called all blacks anymore? You know, are we going to have just remove the words black and white from the English language? I mean, it's getting ridiculous. I mean, what's the point? You're just... You're bringing in all these things and saying, oh yeah, because this might be offensive, that might be offensive, this might be offensive, this might be offensive, that could be offensive, that could be offensive. But all you're doing is pissing people off. Nobody cares whether it could be offensive or not. I mean, if we all gave a shit that a racist joke could be offensive, racist jokes would disappear completely. But we don't. We still tell them. Because we don't give a shit. And even a person that jokes aimed at doesn't give a shit. It's some uptight prick who always gets offended by it. Someone who's got, like, no sense of humour. And then he probably goes home and tells his fucking wife or tells her husband all these fucking jokes. Or tells all the friends down the pub. It's just stupid. And you can guarantee that all this this whole legislation thing was create, was obviously created by a woman. Yeah, but it's obviously designed for women, isn't it? Yeah. So if anyone tells a, a joke that's against blondes or against women in general, a woman can go right and sue him for that. And all that's going to do is piss off the guy that's told the joke and piss off all the guys around the guy that's told the joke. 
and that woman's life at that workplace is going to be over because they're going to fucking annoy her for the rest of her career. The whole it's, it's just stupid, isn't it? I mean, you must agree with me. You must agree. I mean, it is death. I mean, even at the minute, you can fucking complain to the boss if someone tells a racist joke or something. But now, if you're going to be able to sue the people over it, I mean... I do agree with one thing, though. Uh, well, actually, no, I don't agree with it. Uh, the whole equality thing about taking people on. If you've got two people to apply for a job, both people have got the same qualifications and experience, one is me and another is exactly like me but it's got down syndrome then due to equality and that if you don't take on the person who's got down syndrome they could sue you because you haven't taken them on because they're mentally disabled so a perfectly able-bodied and able-minded person like me might never get a job because i'm not fine i'm not disabled in any way and basically it's a different role with me. So I'll, I'll be lucky if I ever get a job now with all these new legislations about equality coming in. And it's all like saying, oh yeah, equality, 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 you know, we've got to be equal for people, equal opportunities, equal opportunities, equality, equality. You know, it's all like saying that. But where's the equality now for everyday healthy white people? There isn't. I mean, if you get two people going for a job, they're both able-bodied people, uh, they're both white, and one of them's a woman. If you don't take on the woman, she could sue for sexual discrimination. Oh, no, I didn't take me on because I'm a woman. I can't sue, oh, I didn't take me on because I'm a man. I probably could if it was like a, a, a place where only women work. You know, and I wanted to apply there. Then I could probably sue them for not taking off because I'm a man. But any sort of normal everyday business where they have men and women, yeah, if they didn't take me on because I'm a man, I couldn't do fuck all about it, basically. But, as, but if I was a woman and they didn't take me on because I was a woman, then I could complain and sue and get lots of money out of it. Or if they didn't take me on because I was fine, or if they didn't take me on because I was mentally disabled, or physically disabled, or something. But a normal, everyday, perfectly healthy, able-bodied, able-minded white man has got no chance getting a job nowadays in this country. Because the whole equality and diversity thing is going against us. And it's the same with the police. If you, if I reported something to police and said uh, that this guy who's a, a packy beat the shit out of me and whatever, and stole my mobile phone and my bike and anything else, you know, television. Near enough fuck all will get done. Yet yeah, if I so much just walked up behind a foreigner and cracked him on the back of the head, fuck all, I could go to prison for that. And it's the same, it's getting the same with uh, men and women now. I mean, a woman could do anything to a man and probably get away with it. Obviously nothing too serious, but get away with most stuff. But if a man so much as touches a woman, even if he just slaps her down the face, she can have a rest of it. I don't get it. Everything is against white men nowadays. It's the same with people who are mentally disabled. If a mentally disabled person came up to me and kicked the shit out of me and I nearly died, to get away with it, because I'm mentally disabled. If I so much just punched them once, I'd be fucking probably in prison. And that's what I don't like. And then they're bringing these uh, legislation to say you can't even tell a joke anymore, in case it's offensive. There's just no point in doing anything, is there? We all, but all those normal, everyday white blokes, yeah, perfectly healthy and everything like that, we like a good joke now and then, we should all just take a gun and blow our fucking brains out. <laughs>